up it's me chanel b back with another video and this time it is different instead of doing a haul for me or anything for me this is all about my new puppy at this time i'm pretty sure y'all met him because i posted a going to pick up pilot video and this is just his haul showing you what things i purchased for him whether it's necessities or you know just things i wanted him to have but i tried to only get necessities first it is a few things that i still haven't purchased but they are on the way and i got majority of it at this point so i was like let me show them what i got for him so i think i'm gonna try to start with like the hygiene section i feel like that's easier um i am gonna start with this it is pet maker brand and it is a faux grass mat that i'm gonna put on my balcony because at this point he isn't fully vaccinated so i don't want to take him outside and put him on grass and things like that and have him vulnerable to different diseases so we're gonna be safe and i'm gonna show y'all me putting it on the um balcony and yeah setting that up i'm very excited to set that up i'm actually about to catch the flight to go pick up pilot so at this point neither one of us has met him but again while y'all watching this it's gonna be a vlog but yeah i got the puppy um training pad and as far as more things to go i guess with poop i got a pack of wipes off of amazon it came with six packs six pack of 20 um packaging so individually wrapped i feel like i could just put it everywhere like have it in my car have it in his bag have it in my room just different places because i am a believer of when we go outside or like just out and about you're gonna be on my couch you're gonna be on my bed and i am one of those puppy parents that believes in them being able to do that because to me this is my child i'm not gonna like just give you I'm just just not gonna not let you be comfortable. I wouldn't tell my kids don't get on my couch. So in my head, this is the same exact thing. But we just gonna make sure he clean and make sure he's fully fully potty trained before he have those benefits as well. So yeah, that's something. I got these for right now to take um on the flight with me. Um, it's just something cheap that I picked up from. Where did I get these? Honestly. I got these from Ross. I saw that they were $5.99. I don't know nothing about the brand, but it was just to go in his training. I mean, his uh, travel carrier. So I'm like, I'm not going to pay like a lot of money for that. And it's also going to be going under his um, faux grass mat just to like catch the pee at the bottom. But yeah, those are all poop related things. And another one is this. Um waste bag dispenser and some rolls i haven't got more of these but i definitely will and i want them to be like eco-friendly or compositable because baby you have to be going through a lot of these so we need to not contribute to disasters of the world that's very dramatic but i was in earth club <laughs> but yeah i got him um a dispenser and the little poop grabby bag things and next we're gonna go into bath time i got him two of these tiles from ross i thought they were super cute and i'm a neutrals girl so our house is like neutral pretty much so i got two of these bath tiles so that he doesn't have to use ours they were 5.99 each again at ross um next i like sensitive soap so i feel like my dog should have that same pleasure as well so for shampoo i got him this earth bath hypoallergenic shampoo that is fragrance free for sensitive skin they didn't have one in um the conditioner so i tried to get something that was like pretty like mild and i got um the earth bath oatmeal and aloe conditioner and the smell is vanilla and almond i felt like this was pretty like mild compared to all the other fragrances and it's cool that after he uses like a fragrance free shampoo that he has some type of scent and y'all this smells so good like so good like a popular one is the wild cherry and i don't i'm not a cherry girl so the fact that they had this baby i might <laughs> it smells so good y'all so 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 good we are going to be doing this a lot i am going to be brushing him and combing him every day if you don't know i haven't said it in this video but in the like actual video you'll see that i am getting a mini poodle so they 
require brushing and combing every day so that you know they not get mad at and when you take them to the groomer they cut off all their hair i don't want that i want him to be a pretty fluffy dog so i got these from target i hope they're good i'll put the prices on the screen because i truly forgot but a two-sided comb right here and a stickler brush um and once you push it um it goes down and grabs all the hair but again it's a mini poodle hyperallergenic not really a shedding dog so it shouldn't be too much hair for me to grab but i got that just in case um then i got these nail clippers that were only four dollars from ross as well i got a lot of stuff from ross y'all when i tell you ross is your friend tj maxx home goods marshall's things such as that they're gonna be your friend outside of the more expensive pet stores like another one i have been going to is petco pet smart and I just found out about Hollywood Feed. That's one of my new favorites now. So I'm definitely going to be going there, y'all. I found out. I thought that was a restaurant at first. Like, as many times as I passed by it, I'm like, it looks like a restaurant. But I finally looked it up and went in. And they price match. They give you coupons. They give you a new puppy checklist. They're just really nice. And anything that doesn't work for you, you can return it. And if they can't re- um, If they can't resell it, they donate it. And I love that. I'm like, tell me more because- we like helping people over here. So, yeah, I got these nail clippers from Ross. I'm going off on a curve. But, um, yeah, I like them, but they don't have, like, a safety thing. So, I just got to make sure I cut, like, a little at a time. But depending on how these work, I might have to upgrade them because they were really cheap. Um, and, again, they don't have the safety thing. And I only learned about the safety portion after I had already purchased them um another things as far as hygiene goes really for me more than him but i have a uh, this can y'all see that pet odor eliminator for the air and then i also have a pet friendly odor eliminator for my furniture um we keep it clean over here like we're pretty minimalist clean and we like nice things and even though we're getting a dog that you know can be a little messy we still just want to like protect our items as well just like y'all do with y'all kids shoot but yeah um that's that on that and then lastly as far as hygiene goes i got this arm and hammer toothbrush and toothpaste which is really cute it also comes with like the little finger brush as well i just feel like this was really nice because like it's for small dog so this is cute um definitely something i'll probably be doing like every other day i want to say i have to look up more research maybe once a week every other day but i want him to have clean bread we're gonna keep it clean over here so yeah let's go into food and treats So as far as food and treats go, I'm going to get on go with the stuff that the food and treats go into as well. So I got this silicone mat to go on the floor. It has raised edges so that when he's eating and drinking, it doesn't get on my floor and cause that to mess up. I tried to make this neutral as well. So yeah, that's what his food um, tray is going to go on. And... This is the food tray. We tried to make sure that it goes with our home since it's going to be like in our living room. So this is like the color of like our uh, bar card, our thing behind me. Like, yeah, it's like that wooden pinkish type color. And we tried to get stainless steel because that is the cleanest thing that doesn't cause stuff to leak into his food and water. And this was um, from Home Goods, and it was only $16.99. I feel like that was cute. The mat that I showed y'all, I want to say that one was $9.99 from Petco. As far as traveling goes, we have a collapsible bowl for water, food, or whatever have you. And I could just link it to the side of whatever I have, like his backpack or something. Slow feeding. I'm not sure if he's a fast feeder or not, but I got this really small cute little slow feeding bowl that's also helpful for enrichment makes him think while he's eating somewhat tires him out as well and this was from some stuff i might have been saying was from ross online y'all because i forgot how that looked i want to say this was from tj maxx now that i'm looking at it i don't know but i will put <laughs> i will put it on the screen as well where i got everything from but yeah i got this slow feeder 
only four dollars 3.99 felt like this was really cute um as far as food treats go i like to think that i think about what type of food i'm putting in my body i'm not perfect with it sometimes but if i'm bringing somebody in this world it's like i'm a real mom <laughs> if i'm bringing someone into this home and they're not able to like you know pick out stuff for themselves I want to make sure that I'm picking out the best stuff for them. That's why I got this one ingredient treat right here. I've already opened it to put in the um, travel case for when I go pick him up. But this is it. It's all about just the one ingredient and I live for that. This is beef liver flavor. Honestly, it smells like fish food, grosses me out. But it's um raw, freeze dried beef liver. So all for the one ingredient. Um. It's so, um, it wasn't that bad in price compared to other cheap treats it might be. But again, I feel like you're paying for help and longevity. I'm trying to make him live as long as possible. I've already watched videos and y'all, I've been crying looking at these other videos from people. I just want him to have a long, happy life because dogs are only with us for a short period of time. So anything I can do to, you know, just make sure he's good, I'm going to do that. That's my baby. So food, this is also what the breeder is feeding him right now. Um, and it also happens to be really healthy after like doing my research. God dang, it's heavy. But it's this Victor High. It's this Victor High Pro Plus food for active dogs and puppies. And I like that because he's going to be really active. Me and Eric are really active. We're like going out a lot. We're traveling. So he's going to be doing all this stuff. Um, so that is a pretty good dog food. Like has amazing reviews everywhere I went. Um, as far as like Hollywood feed. Stuff like that. I asked them. That don't even make sense. But when I went to Hollywood feed, I was like, this is what the breeders feeding them. I've like looked at reviews on it. How do you feel about it? She was like, it's a great product. And it's inexpensive on top of that. And because he's a little dog, he's going to not eat that much of that um so yeah that's good um i don't know how long i'll be feeding him that i do want to talk to his vets and see because i kind of want to switch him to a homemade food diet like with the ground turkey the different vegetables and things like that because again i want my baby to live as long as possible but i'm gonna talk with the vet first because i am not <laughs> trained and steady when it comes to dogs but yeah i just want him to eat healthy stuff so we're gonna talk to the vet about that first but that's the food section. Now we're going to switch to the toys, the fun stuff. I'm going to start off with what came with his bed, even though I haven't showed y'all like the bed stuff yet. I broke this off. This came with the bed. The bed was actually like a really good price. I got it from this place called Ollie's here in Atlanta. Um, but it's just um, a plush bone toy. It's the same material as his bed. And it has a little squeaker inside. Oh, Lord. A lot of dog toys have a lot of squeakers, y'all. And I did not know about that. I was trying to, like, not get everything with a squeaker in it so I can get somewhat of a break. But it was a little hard. But I did it. Another thing is from the brand a lot of people know that has dogs. But it's a Kong ring and this came from tj maxx it was only four dollars and 99 cent and i'm like he is gonna be teething so i definitely want to have him have a lot of things that he could chew on so he's not chewing on my furniture and a lot of stuff that he can chew on that has like different textures because if he has a lot of toys with a lot of different textures he's more likely to not chew on my stuff and this next one is like kind of like the material like a couch would be so he ain't chewing on my couch and pillows and that's this. It was actually on clearance for $3. I want to say this was from TJ Maxx as well. But it's this little sunshine thing. It has a little ball in it. But yeah, it floats. And it's supposed to be like flopping around. This thing do not flop around. That's probably why it was on clearance. But I saw it more so got it for the texture. I feel like this is something that he could definitely chew on. And have fun with. Like we could play with it together. Again, interactive. I like that idea. Another thing for chewing, a different texture. So this one is more on the rubber side and it has like grooves in it to give him like some texture. Hopefully relieve his gums because it says it improves dental health. 
I don't know if I really believe in that, but I believe in toothpaste. So this is just an added bonus. This, everybody know about this, Kong Classic. Um, I tried to get him one that is like a little bigger than a recommended kind, so he doesn't grow out of it too fast. But it says it's for medium slash moyen dogs, 15 to 35. So this is more so for when he's like a little older. But yeah, just the Kong that I picked up, I want to say this was somewhere between $9.99 and $11.99. Um, but yeah, felt like he needed that. Peanut butter, yogurt, treats, all in a thing. This was actually the first toy I bought him. He is a mini poodle. Y'all know poodles are hunting dogs. They hunt ducks. So I wanted to give him something to like just know who he is. You ain't gonna lose your identity in this house, baby. Like, I know you. <laughs> But seriously, I got him this. This is the first thing I purchased from him. I got this from Target. I think it's so cute. It's interactive as well. We can play with it together. But it's tough and fun, like long lasting. I love that. It also has a squeaker in it. But it's just so cute. This kind of goes into like the sleeping category and the toy category. But yeah, I wanted to make sure that he is a happy pup. And I am taking him away from everybody that he knows right now. That could be very traumatic. So I want to help him through the process, calm him down. So I got this snuggle puppy. They're known to be around like $35, $40 online. But I was blessed and able to get it for $24.99 at Home Goods. Very happy. This is like one of the best things I could have bought for him. And I tried to get him one that looked like him because he's reddish or brownish. Um... Yeah, I just want him to be happy and heartbeat puppy. So yeah, I got him this. And then lastly for the toys, I got him this toy box that matches the furniture in my home. So it's not like a huge eyesore. So yeah, I'm just going to put all his toys in here. He's able to pick stuff that he wants because it's going to be out where he can see it and you know. That's that on toys. This is definitely only the beginning. Even though this is a good amount to start off. Again, I tried the textures. Different textures. I think I got all the textures covered. But if it's something else that I can get, y'all comment below what y'all think I should add to the toy collection. Now for the bed category. I went ahead and put like on the screen the crate that I picked up. But it was... um. A crate that was actually on sale around Christmas time. I want to say I got from PetSmart. If not Petco, I'll get in, put that on the screen. But it was like a really, really, really good price. So I went ahead and snatched that up. And um, I got this from Ollie's. I've showed y'all the little dog bone, the plush dog bone. But this is like a pretty neutral, soft bed. It's by the brand um, American Kennel Club. I didn't even know they had um stuff like this but yeah i definitely like it and the fact that it came with a pet throw and a little plush thing and y'all guess what price this was 9.99 i'm like this is a good price like it feels good hopefully he likes it as well because i've been told different dogs like different things so i really hope he likes this um if not it was affordable we could switch it out but yeah i like the fact that it came with like things in it so yeah that's cool okay y'all so first thing first when it comes to travel y'all know we travel a lot so i had to get this especially because we're picking him up from houston so he has to have something to come back in on the plane thankfully i'm able to bring him on the plane with me and he's not like in cargo or nothing that would like scare me that would be so traumatizing could you imagine as an eight week old puppy but yeah i got that and this is how it looks outside of the patch packaging nothing glamorous or anything um it was $34.99 at walmart this on the inside um yeah just attaches to the bottom of it something that's a little comfortable i guess i don't feel like this is too comfortable but i get the uh, material it's like soft and then it also came with straps that you could attach to it. Yeah, that's that on that. I, I think it's pretty like, okay, it, it's going to do what it's supposed to do. When it comes to travel, we're going to talk about leashes and collars and all that good stuff. So this is one of my 
favorites. He's gonna be so handsome. But it was on clearance for eight dollars. Oh y'all, I gotta put where this from on the thing, cause I I forget how those signs look. I wanna say TJ Maxx, or I wanna say Marshalls. I don't know. But this one has um. It's like a collar slash bandana in one, and then it has like the leash that comes with it too. Um, this is another leash that I got. Um, I want to say this one was from Ross. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one was from Ross. And it has a dog that looks like him on the back. So cute. And it's five feet long, which is pretty good, but I do still need one that's like really long, um, like a little training lead. This is his first harness. Hopefully he can fit it. It's a small. Um, I got this from Marshalls for $5.99 something plain i plan on getting him more like a little olive um harness i think that's so cute i've been looking for that like crazy but they can be really expensive so i'm gonna go on amazon and do a little two collars that i got him were from target i want to say they were 5.99 each extra small um same brand i got him like this olive green looking one they're so cute hopefully they fit if not we just gotta go exchange these bad boys but So the last thing I got for a pilot was actually for both of us and it is this Blink camera. I did a lot of research on these. These aren't necessarily to watch dogs, but um, they can do that as well. It's supposed to be indoor security for just your home, but I'm gonna use it to spy on my dog. I've seen so many videos where like these actually saved puppies lives. So I feel like it was smart for me to have it when I'm not here and can't check on my dog. Um, so it lets you know like if it hears things in your house. Um, I want to say it lets you know if they're barking. It's day and night so it can see at night. It's two way audio so I can hear him and he could hear me. I don't know if I'm really use that. Um, but I think it's so cool to have. Maybe if he like jumping on something he shouldn't be jumping on once I trust him. Then um, this is the way to go. But yeah, I got me a blink camera so that I can stay in touch with my dog when I'm not here. Again, that's really important. If y'all have pets as well, I feel like y'all should definitely get some type of camera so that y'all can see them. I watched a video where like two dogs were in the house by themselves and like a fire started. And like the um, owner got an alert on the app letting her know that something was going on in her house. And imagine her surprise when she see her two dogs barking like crazy because it's a fire i don't play up my mind so that's why i got a camera um i wanted to get the furbo camera that's a little pricey for now i'm gonna just stick to this one it was on sale for 24.99 i want to say and i got mine from target and yeah that's how we're going in to getting a new puppy y'all i'm so oh also from the bonus i got a journal um, I got this from the Dollar Tree for only $1.25 because you know it ain't a dollar no more. Something wrong with them. They need to change the name. But yeah, I got this cute little um, journal to keep up with his potty breaks, his eating, all that. Just to like see how he's doing um, along his journey. I'm so excited about it, y'all. I'm going to have like so many videos is what I'm saying. I know y'all can't trust me on this video schedule, but I promise I'm going to try to do better. So yeah, um, this is just the beginning of so much more. Like I said, it's already a video out of my vlog of going to get pilot. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely check out that one to meet my baby. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all and I hope y'all have a great day, night, week, weekend, whatever it is. Bye.